In this video, we'll take a brief tour of what's new in version 3 of mPanel Insight. We'll cover the new features in more detail in separate videos. We'll work through the changes on each tab, working from left to right. We'll start with the Projects tab. Under Settings is a new tool to download Fabric databases. When we select this option, we're presented with a dialog to select a fabric brand and then to download. When you download the setup program for Insight from your dashboard, you can now choose to download a smaller installer with no fabric databases, so you can manually install them later, or a larger file which will take a bit longer to download, which includes all the available manufacturer's databases. Also under Settings, Shadows and Location, we can now set the time zone offsets to 30 minute increments. On the Ground Images tab, we now have the ability to add a ground using a DXF file, so you can create your own 2D ground drawing in your preferred CAD program and import it into InSight. In the Build Model tab, there are many changes which aren't obvious as new tools, but are improvements and upgrades. Let's start with walls. I'll add two walls using the Snap to Grid tool. Note, I add the walls starting from left to right, so the wall face where I'll connect the sail is on the inside of the workspace. We'll add a quad sail, clockwise as normal, with corner A top left just for consistency. Whatever works for you. Now let's select the sail and then with the new fix wall options in the properties area, we can fix side A to B, commit changes. We can see two changes. Firstly, we can connect to two walls at the same time, which wasn't available previously. And secondly, we can now have both fixed edges and catenary edge connections. Previously, we only had fixed edge as an option. Another new feature is the ability to add an apparent fixed edge. Let's add another wall, so we have a corner. Then we again select the sail. This time we'll fix edge DA and also allow cross wall fix. Now we have a straight edge on the left side of the sail which appears to be connected to the wall. The sail is in fact connected to the first two walls and not to the third wall. We control connection heights as normal. Select the sail, then change pole top offset. Remember, poles and walls are treated the same. So we change the height of corner A to 1100, commit changes and see it drop to the new height. Another new wall related feature is the ability to make a single connection to a wall. To demonstrate this, we'll add a pole, then add a tri-sail. We can also join this to the first sail using the normal merge sail tool. Run the tool, then select each sail to merge the two sails into one. Another new feature which has been widely requested by users is the ability to rename objects by simply selecting the object. Here I'll select the pole, then select the name field and change it. I'll change from 1 to 10 and commit the change. And we can zoom in and see the new pole label. This upgrade works with posts, marks and sales. Yet another new feature is the information group in properties. We select a sail and expanding information shows the actual sail area as well as the perimeter dimensions for the selected sail. While we're in the build model, we can now explore the new export feature 
to send a sale to Mpanel Shade Designer. In MPSD, sales are defined by corner letters A, B, C, D, etc. To export a sale to MPSD, we hold the shift key and select the post or wall connection that will be corner A, and then the sale or sale parts. Here we've got two sale parts. Then under the Save Options, we select Export to MPSD, and then assign a file name. Now, in MPSD, we open the saved file, which is a partial file, only geometry is imported. We can see the shape is correct, but fixed edges and materials are not imported, only the site dimensions. We can also choose to export a model to SketchUp. Save Export to SketchUp and provide a file name. In SketchUp, under Plugins, we select Import mPanel File and find our saved file, and the model is now shown in SketchUp. If you haven't yet installed the mPanel import plugin, email us for a separate video with instructions on how to install the plugin. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact support at mpanel.com.